in the meantime. There was a guy that God had blessed, had a lot of cattle. God blessed him. He spoke to him and said, son, he said, I need you to do me, do something for me. Now, this is just like God, and this is how he works when it's necessary. Now, God would rather have us living in the abundant life, but when it's necessary, he'll work here too. And he spoke to that man, and he told him, he said, now, I, I need you to do something for me. He said, well, Lord, he said, I will. What do you want me to do? Man. He said, now, I've been good to you, and I've blessed you. He said, you have, Lord. He said, you take one of those cows and I want you to sell it. And, and I'll tell you what to do with the money. And he was driving up the road that day where the preacher just pulled out from the store. He fell in behind the preacher and said, the Lord said, that car right there? He said, pull him over. So he pulled the man over. Hey, 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 and there's a little wide spot on the road. He pulled him over and said, Preacher, says here, Lord told me to give you this. Now there you go. He does own the cattle on a thousand hills. And it blessed that man. And God met his need. Now that's just a little something, but either way it's God. And that makes it awesome. And that makes it great. Now, let's, let's, let's don't limit God. Let's realize that this earth is His and the fullness thereof. Not the world, but the earth. And God's not in a recession. God's economy is not bad. It just might be up here. There might be a recession up here. <laughs> let's, let's don't let there be a recession up here, okay? Okay. Let's know what he said and believe him. Now, here's this scripture. I want to read it one more time. Beloved, I wish above all things, all things, that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. So, without our health, where does that leave us? Then you could have all your needs met. You could have, you could be financially able to, you know, live well. But if your health fails, now what do you have? So God wants us well. He wants us whole. He wants us whole as a, as a man or a woman. He wants us whole spirit, soul, and body. And he wants us well mentally. Yeah, he wants our minds to be renewed to his word that we know the truth that Jesus talked about. And he said this truth will cause you to be free. Praise. Be free from the lie that came from the enemy that says, oh, you can't have that. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yes. Oh, you can't be well. Yes, we will. If we're not, yes, we will. Amen. If my needs is, oh, your needs is not going to be met. Yes, they are. Why? Because you know the truth. And quit listening to these people out here that don't know what they're talking about. Listen to God's Word. Amen. Listen to God's Word. How many knows that Jesus is the head of this church? Right. Talking about all of us out here. He's the head. He is. And I'll tell you what. When He says something, that's it. He's the boss. Amen. He is the boss. You can, amen. He is the head. And, when, and whatever he says, that's it. That settles it. And somebody might say, well, I don't believe that. Look, it, what difference does that make to me that you don't believe something? Well, our church don't believe this. Well, then I don't know. I might question if you are the church. How many heard of a believer that won't believe? A believer that won't believe. Get it out. <laughs> Does that make any sense? That's like a worker that won't work. Yeah. A eater that won't eat. Mm -hmm. A sleeper that won't sleep. Amen? We're not believers that don't believe. We're believers that believe. 
I don't care what denomination you're of. It makes no difference. Just believe what God said. If I'm a Baptist, I'll be a Bible-believing Baptist. Bible. Bible-believing Baptist. Yeah. Well, that's good. Now, if I'm a Pentecostal, I'll be a Pentecostal, Bible-believing Pentecostal. Right. Now, if I'm a holiness, I'll be a Bible-believing holiness. All that is if I'm a whatever, then I'll be a Bible believer. Else I'm not a believer. And whoever heard of a believer, that won't believe. Well, amen. Well, honey, I'm going to bed to go to sleep. Next morning you wake up, did you sleep? No, I'm not a sleeper. I'm a sleeper that don't sleep. Well, you'd say, well, what's wrong with you? I don't know, I'm just a sleeper that don't sleep. I'm a believer that believes the Bible. All right. Else, I'm not a believer. Is that right? That's so good. 